Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm the founder of Expedition Sub-Sahara. We're a home decor and accessories company that specializes in hand-woven African products. I always joke that we make happy baskets and accessories for colorful people. Right now, we're at my studio at the Foundry Arts Center in St. Charles, Missouri. So I've been here for a year and a half, but Expedition Sub-Sahara has been going strong for the last three years. I grew up in Senegal, West Africa, and uh, the community there, um, the culture is a maker's culture. Um, and different tribes, different groups have different crafts. And the Wolof, which is my tribe, weave. And it was actually weaving that my mother um, took and was able to create a job for herself through the weaving because unfortunately at the time um, of her upbringing she wasn't able to go to school, she didn't have the opportunity to go to school. But she can make things, she has this beautiful ability, if you put anything in front of her she can make something out of it. But I didn't appreciate the culture at all, I didn't appreciate the craftsmanship that went into these baskets until years later when I came here as a teenager and I was able to go to to a great high school, then a great college. So I wanted to do something that helped people back home. I wanted to build a school. So how do I build a school? Well, I realized that at a very young age, my culture gifted me something that is absolutely beautiful, and that is the ability to make woven baskets, things that is normal back home, but in America, nobody sees them. I started making my baskets once more. I started to do exactly what my mother did to get me here with the, with the idea and the plan to build a girls' team school in Senegal using the funds from Expedition Sub-Sahara. At the studio, we make functional baskets. So they're hand-woven using sweetgrass and all the color. They're, they're happy baskets, they're very colorful, and all the colors actually recycle materials. Senegal is a Muslim country, and we use these uh, prayer mats to pray and to sit and to commune. And they get old and get thrown out, so we collect those and strip them, and actually all the color you see on our baskets are from those recycled materials. It's funny because I get asked all the time of how do you create, like I don't understand how your brain works. The truth is everything that we create is incredibly traditional. There might be a little bit of a twist to make it more functional for everyday American use, since that's, the audi that's our audience. I would go from a, a traditional shape. The wishing basket, for example, has a very oval shape with a, a, a babouche hat. And I figure how can we use this in a home that's not just decorative but also functional. I'm really inspired by African clothing. I think it's absolutely colorful and beautiful. It's just so happy. You can't help but be happy when you watch an African woman walk because of the clothes is just so beautiful. I, I try and take the colors from a certain outfit, but then kind of add a little bit of a twist to it so it's more functional. People are actually usually surprised by how long it takes to create the baskets. My small ones, my tiny little coasters can take about two hours, but my big ones can take all the way up to 40 hours to create. And I think people would be very surprised of how physical you have to get with a big basket like that in order to create the shape. Those large baskets, you have to twist and turn. You have to women handle it, really. The actual process of getting the grass from fresh green grass to dry grass is very long because you gotta wash and let it dry, wash and let it dry, wash and let it dry. Sweet grass is beautiful because it lets you control it while other grasses will not be controlled. So other grasses will kind of pinch you as you, and it's very hard on the hands while sweet grass kind of just moves along with you, which is perfect. There's so many political things happening in this country right now and it should happen and it needs to happen for us to get to the other side. But I think it's so beautiful that African Americans were African before they were anything else. And that culture, that blood is with them. And as the creators, they got that. It came with them from my culture. And they have made me realize that there's nothing, absolutely nothing more beautiful than my culture. So I love that when I give somebody this thing that I've created, they have so much love for it. And they themselves call it their happy baskets. They themselves say, wow, I love my happy basket. That is by far the, the number one email that I get. Hey, Sophie, I love my happy basket. Thank you so much. And that happiness came from my heart. And it came from coming to America 
and appreciating my own culture in the process of coming here. It's full circle and it's so beautiful to me.